For 127 years, the Eiffel Tower has been this huge, famous thing in Paris that people from all over the world love. But guess what? It wasn't always supposed to be that way. The whole adventure started in 1889 during a big event called the Universal Exposition. At that time, France was celebrating 100 years since the French Revolution. They thought, hey, let's have a competition to build a tall iron tower on Champ de Marc and it should be 125 meters wide and 300 meters high. Sounds like a tall order, right? Well, 107 people gave it a shot, and the winner was Gustave Eiffel. Now here's the cool part. Gustave's design wasn't an instant hit. People weren't sure about it, and there were talks about taking the tower down. But look at it now, an iconic symbol of Paris. So how did Gustave's idea, which had a rough start, become this beloved thing that everyone recognizes. Join us on this journey as we uncover the incredible tale of the Eiffel Tower. We'll explore the ups and downs, the surprises, and the moments that turned this big metal thing into a timeless symbol. Why did Gustav Eiffel's idea win over everyone in the end? So, in the late 1800s, Gustav Eiffel rose as a prominent figure in engineering, reshaping the global landscape with his innovative metal structures. Renowned for his contributions such as crafting the intricate framework of the Statue of Liberty, Eiffel played a pivotal role in catapulting France into the modern era. His magnum opus, the Eiffel Tower, stands as an enduring testament to his visionary prowess, piercing the Parisian sky at a towering 324 meters. Eiffel's forward thinking laid the groundwork for contemporary architectural marvels worldwide. Completed in 1889, this architectural masterpiece comprises approximately 18,000 meticulously crafted individual iron components, intricately connected by an astounding 2.5 million rivets. Beyond its structural magnificence, the Eiffel Tower epitomizes Gustav Eiffel's ingenuity, setting a benchmark for vertical structures globally. As we delve into the legacy of Gustav Eiffel, we embark on a journey unveiling not just the man behind the engineering marvels, but a visionary whose numerical symphony resonates through time. Imagine the grand stage of the 1889 World's Fair in Paris. Enter Gustav Eiffel, a visionary maestro with a colossal idea, the Eiffel Tower. This wasn't just about showcasing France's industrial might. It was a revolutionary embrace of form and function. Gustav, the architectural poet, wielded 7,300 tons of wrought iron, not just for strength, but for an exquisite dance of aesthetics. Now let's crunch some numbers. More than 7,300 tons. That's like lifting a thousand elephants or stacking 150 full-grown adult whales. Gustav's avant-garde vision wasn't just heavy in iron. It was a heavyweight statement in the world of engineering. The journey from the blueprint to the towering reality wasn't just a construction project. It was a symphony of innovation showcasing France's technological prowess. Gustave's masterpiece, the Eiffel Tower, became a living testament to the marriage of industrial might and artistic grace, captivating the world's gaze and etching a numerical legacy into the heart of Paris. Okay, let's talk about how the Eiffel Tower was built. It's like a giant math party starting with 2.5 million rivets. Those are like tiny metal bolts and 18,038 metal pieces. It's not just a tower. It's like a super cool puzzle that someone really smart put together. Now the design part is interesting. Gustav Eiffel, the guy who thought up the whole thing, used math to make sure the tower didn't sway too much in the wind. It's like he had a secret recipe to build tall buildings and everyone wanted to copy it. So think about this. 2.5 million rivets are like having one for every person in a big city. And those 18,038 metal pieces? That's like putting together a jumbo jigsaw puzzle. Gustav Eiffel wasn't just an engineer, he was a math magician. At first, some people weren't sure about it. You know, skeptical. But guess what? It became a star. Now it's not just a tower. It's like a celebrity in the world of culture. Standing super tall at 324 meters, it's the boss of the Paris skyline, making everyone go wow. So here's the cool part. Even though some folks had doubts, the Eiffel Tower became a big deal in art, books, and fancy buildings. 
It's not just a tower. It's like a famous character in a global story. And one of the surprising facts is that more than 7 million people visit the tower every year. That's like having a never-ending party with people from all over the world. The Eiffel Tower isn't just a landmark. It's like a magic spell that makes people dream and create amazing things. Gustav Eiffel wasn't just about making things look good. He was a bit of a science wizard, too. The Eiffel Tower, besides being a jaw-dropping structure, turned into a playground for some groundbreaking experiments. As the tower became a giant lab for studying weather and how things move in the air, Gustav was curious about everything, so he used the tower to learn about meteorology and aerodynamics. It's like turning a cool structure into a science superhero. And the Eiffel Tower wasn't just a lab, it was a pioneer in aviation research. Back in the day, it helped scientists understand things like air resistance and turbulence. So before all the modern planes and high-tech stuff we have today, the Eiffel Tower was already paving the way for cool discoveries in the sky. Now, Gustav Eiffel wasn't just an engineer, he was a scientist too. His work on the tower left a permanent mark, not just in the world of art and structures, but also in the world of science. It's like he gave the Eiffel Tower a double role, a stunning piece of art and a giant science experiment. Now let's rewind to when the Eiffel Tower was just a dream in Paris. Guess what? Not everyone liked the idea. Some folks wanted to take it down before it could even show off its awesomeness. Can you believe that? But then here comes Gustav Eiffel, the brain behind the whole thing. Instead of panicking, Gustav said, Hold up. Why tear it down when we can make it even cooler? So he turned the Eiffel Tower into more than just a tall structure. He made it a hotspot for talking to people from far away and doing cool science stuff. Talk about turning things around. As time passed, the Eiffel Tower stood strong, proving the doubters wrong. Gustav's smart thinking and never give up attitude shut down the haters. Today, it's not just a big metal thing in Paris. It's a symbol of how to bounce back from tough times. So the next time someone brings up the Eiffel Tower's early troubles, tell them the whole story. From almost being taken apart to becoming an icon, Gustav Eiffel didn't just build a tower. He wrote a story of bravery and success. The Eiffel Tower isn't just a structure. It's a tale of saying, I'll show you, to doubts and coming out on top. When some wanted to take the Eiffel Tower down, Gustav, the smart guy who created it, had a different plan. Now look at the tower today. It's not just standing. It's standing tall and loved by millions every year. Gustav Eiffel's legacy is like a special part of the tower, making it even more incredible. Gustav turned doubts into something amazing. The Eiffel Tower, once almost taken apart, is now a beloved symbol, not just in Paris, but everywhere. It's not just a building. It shows how creative and determined people can be when they dream big. Let's think beyond the Eiffel Tower for a moment. Gustav Eiffel's impact goes far beyond those metal beams. His legacy is like a guiding light for engineers and architects everywhere. The tower isn't just a famous spot. It's a sign of clever thinking, never giving up, and the endless possibilities that come with bold ideas. Gustav's legacy is part of engineering and architecture worldwide. The Eiffel Tower led the way, not just in design, but in proving that even when people doubt you, big ideas can still win. It's a lesson in turning tough times into success, a living reminder of Gustav Eiffel's boldness. So when you stand under the Eiffel Tower, think of it as more than just a cool building. It's a present from Gustav Eiffel, reminding us that even the biggest dreams can face challenges and still become timeless gifts. The Eiffel Tower isn't just something famous. It's a story of bouncing back, a part of human success written by a guy who never let doubts stop his big dreams. Gustav Eiffel didn't just build a tower. He left behind a forever gift that keeps inspiring dreamers, builders, and creators all over the world. What do you think about the amazing construction of the Eiffel Tower? Share with us in the comments section. If you enjoyed exploring this architectural marvel with us, don't forget to hit subscribe for more fascinating journeys into the world of groundbreaking structures. Your subscription ensures you won't miss a moment of our future adventures. Until then, 
Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the world.